Hello friends. Welcome to TechWord. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to implement Google Sign-In with Firebase in Android Studio using Kotlin. So, let's get started. Here are the steps to implement Google Sign-In with Firebase in Android Studio, create a new project with an empty activity. Google Sign-In is a quick and secure way to allow users to sign into your Android app using their Google accounts. When combined with Firebase Authentication, it provides a simple and powerful solution for handling user authentication in your app. Go to our website, you will get a link in the description box and follow the simple steps as shown in the video and website as well. First up, we need to set up Firebase authentication in your Android Studio project. It's an easy process that'll allow your app to authenticate users using Google Sign-In. Once we've got that set up, we'll need to download and add the Firebase SDK to your project, which is essential for using Firebase services. Next, we'll configure Google Sign-In in the Firebase console. This means enabling the Google Sign-In provider, adding your app's SHA-1 key, and downloading the Google Services.json file from the Firebase console and adding it to the app directory of your project.
In step 3, we'll add the necessary dependencies and resources to our project. This includes the Google Play Services dependency, a Google.png image to the drawable folder, and some color codes to the colors.xml file. This will give your app a consistent look and feel. Then, in step 4, we'll create a border resource file named border.xml that'll add a border around our sign-in button. This file will contain the XML code that defines the appearance of the border. In step 5, we'll add the code to display the sign-in button in our app's main activity using a material button widget. We'll also add the previously created border resource to it. In step 6, we'll create a new empty activity named signinactivity.kt, which will handle the sign-in process. We'll add the necessary code to initialize Google Sign-in and Firebase authentication, and also add a function to start the sign-in process when the button is clicked. In step 7, we'll add the code to launch the sign-in activity when the sign-in button is clicked. This involves creating an intent object that specifies the sign-in activity as the target activity.
In step 8, we'll add the code to handle the sign-in process, which involves creating a Google Sign-in Options object with the necessary configuration settings and initializing a Google Sign-in Client object with this Options object. We'll then use this client to launch the sign-in intent and handle the sign-in result. In step 9, we'll add a theme to the themes.xml file to style our app. We'll be using a no action bar theme to remove the app's default action bar, which will give us more control over the app's layout. Finally, in the manifest file, we'll replace main activity with sign in activity as the default launcher activity. This will ensure that the app launches the sign in activity instead of the main activity. That's it. With these simple steps, you can easily implement Google Sign In with Firebase in your Android Studio project using Kotlin. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to TechWord for more awesome tech tutorials.